and I have seen ups and downs in the communities, our community. I've seen, um, I've seen us struggle with things and really grapple with things. I've seen God call us in different ways, and I've seen us listen more intently. Well, my name is Sister Lucy Winkoop, and I am a vocation director belonging to the new membership team. I've worked on vocations for about 20 years, and they did give me a couple of breaks. And my name is Sister Julian Cleary, and I have not had the pleasure of working with vocations for 20 years. In fact, I'm fairly new at this. Basically what we look for is, is that sometimes a person might have belonged to another denomination, uh, but we ask them to have a couple of years. You know, when you go through RCIA, which is preparing you to either become a Catholic if you've never been baptized, or to, um, to claim that you would like to be a Roman Catholic, um, there is an actual ceremony that happens usually at the Easter Triduum. So that's a very important thing for people. Uh, I would say come, welcome. Uh, what this community has learned, and, and uh, it's through a lot of uh, discernment, uh, scholarship, um, relationships with people, is that when younger people come, not only do we ask them to adopt the charism and the practices, the norms of our community, but that we also want to adopt to them. Uh, younger people will bring new insights, new energy, new creativity, new theology, new ideas, and we're eager to learn. We want to be open to um, all kinds of cultures, um, all kinds of seekers with uh, different backgrounds. Uh, and we would welcome younger people. And, and the message we want to give is, come, try us out, come and see. Uh, we, we, we will embrace you. Well, we have a new oblate live in, and she's been kind of funny because she said, you know, I'm beginning to see what happens under the scenes. You know, um, I always thought things ran very smoothly, but I see all the work that goes on. And I also see um, people really struggling to be faithful to everyday prayer, to be faithful to quiet prayer or individual prayer, uh, to be faithful to... Uh, the work and the things that are needed here. You know, all of that takes learning and being part of what a Benedictine really is.